On this episode of JoJo Science Show, we have a hair raising, lightning making, music playing, color changing, energy transferring, fruit exploding, windmill spinning, brightly glowing, electron flowing extravaganza for you today. JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to be doing 10 experiments and demonstrations with plasma. So what is a plasma anyway? A plasma is an ionized gas. Remember a pig, P-I-G. P for plasma, I for ionized, and G for gas. So what does ionized mean though? When you ionize a gas, it means you knock off an electron and you make it positively charged. Imagine this is a gas atom. The nucleus is positively charged and the orbital is the area around the nucleus where electrons hang out, which is the blue area. So right now the atom is neutral because the charges balance each other out. Voltage is the force that pushes an electron. So high voltage, a lot of force, and low voltage, low force. If we have an electron being pushed by a high voltage, it can shoot out and knock the other electron out of the orbital. The gas is now ionized and positively charged because it's separated from the electron. Now the gas is a plasma because remember, a plasma is an ionized gas. This electron now has a lot of energy and is excited. And it gives off this excess energy by glowing as the light we see and relaxes back down into the orbital. (sighs) So, to create a plasma, you generally need high voltage and high energy. Here's a funny joke to help you remember what a plasma is. Two hydrogens were walking down the street. One said to the other, I think I lost an electron. And the other says, are you positive? (laughs) Get it? He's now ionized. In a previous video, I built a Van de Graaff generator. Here's some sped up footage of me building it. If you'd like to see this video, the link is in the description. Van de Graaff generators produce really high voltages. This high voltage can knock electrons off the surrounding air and create a plasma. The Van de Graaff generator made my sister's hair stand up. If you put your finger next to the Van de Graaff generator, it creates a plasma to your finger. Look at all these lightning bolts coming out of my fingertip. That's like I have a lightning superpower. You can also see a plasma form when you bring a fluorescent light bulb next to the Van de Graaff generator. The electric field also causes the light bulb to flash. I'm going to show you a few demonstrations using my mini Tesla coil. One of the most amazing things about this mini Tesla coil is that it can play music. So how does the Tesla coil make music? If we change the number of lightning bolts per second, the plasma can vibrate the air differently to create different notes. This Tesla coil takes input from the phone through the headphone jack. The signal from the phone causes the plasma to vibrate at different frequencies, which creates the music that you hear. What's next will really surprise you. Not only can this Tesla coil play music, it can also make plasma dance to the music. I know, it's amazing! Look how the plasma is moving to the music. The frequency of the input signal, or number of voltage pulses per second, changes the movement of the plasma, which makes it seem like it's dancing. How cool is that? Are you wondering what we're going to do next? We're going to make a plasma windmill. The Tesla coil came with this tiny rod. Look what happens when we put it on top. Isn't this amazing? Are you wondering how it works? The plasma heats up the air, which causes this windmill to spin. So what else can this do? 
Tesla coils are capable of wireless transmission of energy. Nikola Tesla dreamed that his Tesla coils could transmit energy over long distances wirelessly. We can demonstrate wireless transmission of energy by bringing fluorescent light bulbs or LEDs near the Tesla coil. The electric field created by the Tesla coil excites the gases in these light bulbs, therefore making them light up. The next experiment is really surprising. Did you know you can make plasma in the microwave using a grape? If you cut a grape in half and let the two halves touch each other in the microwave, incredibly, it creates a plasma in between. Do you see that big spark of light? Where the two halves are touching, the gas becomes superheated, and it excites the gas to form a plasma. Can you see how we got the plasma to emit green light in this frame? We got the plasma to emit green light by putting copper sulfate on the grape. As you will see later on in this video, plasma can change colors based on what elements we add to it. Ew! Look how the plasma really burnt up our grapes! Are you curious as to what we're going to do next? Well, we're going to make a plasma light show. This Tesla coil comes with a fine wire that you can attach to the top and it'll spin and put on a light show for you. This wire is really thin and floppy and the plasma heats up the air around it and causes it to move really quickly in this neat pattern. What I have next is really hot. This machine is called an inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometer. This machine has a plasma that is hotter than the surface of the sun. This plasma is 10,000 degrees, while the surface of the sun is only 6,000 degrees Kelvin. We can get this plasma to change color based on which elements are burning in it. The color of light emitted lets scientists tell what elements are in a sample when they spray it onto the plasma. Here's an example. The plasma turns red when there's lithium in a sample, orange when there's calcium, yellow when there's sodium in the sample, green when there's magnesium, and violet when there's strontium. From the color, scientists can tell what elements are in a sample, and they can tell how much based on the intensity of the color. Next, I have a giant surprise for you. Previously, I showed you how my mini Tesla coil could play music. Now, let me show you this giant Tesla coil they had at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. These Tesla coils are six feet tall, and I'm standing in a Faraday cage to protect me from plasma. Wow, that's amazing! The music is being played by the lightning vibrating the air. It is not being played in the background. I can even hold up my hand to the lightning, but the cage protects me. And this is what it looked like from the outside. The next plasma demonstration is really awesome because you can try it at home. Right here I have a plasma ball. This is the easiest and simplest and safest way for kids to play with plasma. 
Right now, you might not be able to see the plasma, but when I dim the lights in here, then you'll definitely be able to see it. Now you can really see it. Uh, whenever I touch it, the plasma is attracted to my finger. Don't worry, it won't shock you. Electrons always want to get back to the ground. And these electrons are trying to flow through my finger and through my body into the ground. This is really fun. You should get one. Plasma balls are, are really fun to play with and the best part is they don't cost that much. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. In fact, plasma is more abundant than solids, liquids, and gases in the universe. So. I know. Didn't I just blow your mind? <gasps> Someone's got to turn that into a GIF. Plasma is all around us. The sun contains plasma. Fire contains plasma. Lightning is plasma. Just plasma by itself is interesting. Come on. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun!